Hi guys. guys! So a number of you guys watched our guided house tour video and I think quite a number of people enjoyed it. Thank you so much for enjoying that video. So from the time we posted that video until now, end of circuit breaker, right? Sean actually did some like changes to the house and he made the house smarter so we can be lazier. So today's video is just like an update of what Sean did. And I think a lot of people have this misconception that like a smart home usually is quite expensive or like the bills are very high. So today Sean is going to debunk some of those myths and he's going to show you what he bought uh, for our house to make it a smart home. I actually have a list of the products that uh, we use which are affordable and then uh, these are some of the products. So um, we have a Brooklyn RM Pro. Okay, this is actually a smart universal remote control that you can use it to remotely control anything that uses infrared on your phone or Google Home. Then uh, the other one that we have is a Livolo switch. Um, almost all the switches in our home, uh, we use the Volo switch. Uh, it comes with a remote control and uh, it has Wi-Fi function and uh, RF function as well. And then for speaker-wise, um, we have a Google Home Mini. Uh, they, they call it Nest Mini now. And then uh, another speaker that we have is uh, LG X Boom AIWK7. Uh, it actually comes with a Google Assistant. So um, the main thing that we are playing around today will be um, Google Home application and uh, brought link the RM Pro Plus. Okay, so how, how this whole thing works is um, you basically have two apps on your phone. One would be a um, Google Home app and then the other one would be an IHC app. Uh, this app is by Brocklin. So um, once you got the RM Pro ready, you can just install it, install the app and then you can synchronize everything together. So uh, let the IHC app learn everything that you have at home. That means your switch and everything. And then link up together with Google Home. That means Google Home can uh, connect the app together. So whatever devices is connected on IHC app, you can see it on your Google Home. And then from there, your Google Home can do anything you want. Let's say turn on the switch, turn off the switch, aircon, fan or anything. And then uh, you can even use voice command if you have those speakers available. I will show you guys how to pair them easily and then how it can even learn to use things that doesn't have smart function like your normal aircon, your normal fan that have remote control. You can actually learn everything. That means you don't need to use remote control anymore. You can use voice or you can use your phone to control it. So for those people who have like normal light switches at home, can they still do the smart light thing? Even when you have um, regular switches at home ready, the light switch, um, you can don't need to change all the switch away. You can actually buy Philips Hue light bulb or e-light light bulbs, then um, you can change the light bulb. Each light bulb has Wi-Fi function, so you can actually easily connect it um, to your phone via the Philips app. So when we first got the aircons for our house, we actually wanted to buy one with like a wireless function because we thought like we can make everything smart. But in the end, because of like budget constraints, we got one that is just a normal aircon. But now, because of the devices that Sean got right, we can actually voice control our aircon, which is really cool because we get to save a lot of money also. Okay, I'll show you more. Okay, uh, these are the apps that uh, we use at home. But for today, we're just going to talk about um, IHC app as well as the Google Home app. So we'll take a look at the IHC app. So this is what we have in our living room. The master bedroom, the kitchen, the office, the wardrobe. So um, this is the smart switch that I've talked about. So um, what we have in the RM Pro is um, we synchronize all the lights that we have here and aircon and mistral fan. So the other app that we are looking at is uh, this Google Home app. Okay, you can see that um, this is what we have at home that is a link with IHC ready. So even nano leaf, uh, the one behind us, we can even use it to turn on and off as well. And then uh, for the bedroom area, we have a speaker, two lights, blinds, and then kitchen with all the lights and blah blah blah. Aircon fan as well. This is the one. These are the one that we use it um, from IHC. We have this projector at home by uh, Philips, it's called Pico Pix Max and then um, just realized that the application itself has a function that um, you can use in IHSC to connect to a projector so you can give it a try. Okay, um, I'm going to try to pair my Philips projector with this and then after that we'll use a Google Voice command to company to turn on. So this is a remote control from Philips and all you need is just a phone with the application and this is the Brooklyn RM Pro Plus. Yes, Titi! 
Okay, so uh, we are in the IHC app, so go to the smart switch and then uh, add appliances, look for projector, let's see if they have it. Okay, select all the brands, so um, we are looking at P, oh, are you here? Okay, there's Philips projector. So please tap, please try to tap multiple buttons to see if the remote control can control the appliances correctly. Okay, so um, is it turned on? Okay, so it doesn't work. Okay, let's try again. Nope, it doesn't work. Try again. You need to try an error a number of times to see whether it works or not because there's a lot of uh, frequency for IR and um, RF. So, uh, if the projector doesn't detect, you can actually create a device name and then choose a location to put it in. And then um, we can choose how, how, how can it learn. So for example, for power, okay, and then press and hold any button to see whether it, can it learn to detect the remote. At this point, I realized I couldn't connect properly because I was trying to connect using RF instead of infrared, which is why it doesn't work. The Philips projector remote has a lens at the head of the remote, so it should be infrared remote instead. So guys, check your remote before selecting the type. Once I make the switch to infrared remote, the Brocklink RM Pro Plus detected the signal successfully. Oh, learn success! Okay, please tap the following button to make sure it's functioning properly. So let's try and see whether the projector lights up or not. The projector turns on. Yay! So, it's, so it does work. Okay, so... I yeah, don't know whether you can see this or not. The projector is on already. <laughs> okay. Is the device function properly? Yes. Okay, so it's safe ready. And then if you look at um, the living room, there's a projector. So once you have this, you can actually uh, go back to your Google Home and then connect IHC to Google Home. So you add this and then you set up device. Have something already set up? So, so just tap on this. And then uh, you notice I have this app already connected to it. So just tap on this and then you can just connect everything together. So this is how it works. So just enter your email and then your password and everything. So once it's connected, um, the whole thing will refresh and then you can have all the things that was in your IHC to here. So you no longer need to use your IHC app, but instead you just use Google Home or you can use the voice assistant to control anything. So I paired it ready and then uh, it's added into Google Home. So normally if you want to turn on the projector, turn on the aircon and then turn off the light, you need to use three remote control. So I managed to uh, set all up together so that when I say a command, the lights will be off, the aircon will be on and then the projector will turn on. So it'll be something like this. Okay, Rachel is behind the camera. I'm here. So the controls are all here. Okay, not okay. cheating. <laughs> so this is what happened. Hey Google, movie night. Who's crying? Aircon is on. Yep. And... Oh, lights yeah. is off. And... The projector should be on. <gasps> Yay! And then you can just watch movie lah. Movie night. So this is how it works. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it has been informative for you guys who really want like a smart home kind of thing but don't have like a big budget of like thousands of dollars. I hope this is like a little shortcut for you. And uh, I'm very lucky lah because I'm quite clueless about all this tech stuff and Sean is quite good at it. So for those of you guys who have like husbands or brothers who are really good at tech stuff, show them this video. So you get a smart home but you don't have to really do much. Okay, then um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Hey Google, turn off office downlight. Alright, turning off the downlight. Okay Google, turn off Nanoly. <laughs> Is it okay? okay.
It's a bit slow. <laughs> yeah, but better than nothing, right? Better than getting up to press the button. Yeah. Okay, um... He... <laughs> he... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What? My turn, huh? Yeah. Okay. End. 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 Maybe okay. I don't use this.